Buongiorno a tutti, this is Chef Rosario with the National Pasta Association. I don't know about you, but we are going through a heat wave right here. So today I chose a nice, refreshing Mediterranean classic. I'm going to make a pasta salad with a typical Mediterranean ingredients. Fusilli pasta, why? Because with this shape, they will capture all the flavors of the ingredients, so they were trapped into the grooves, a lot of flavor with every bite. Then, extra virgin olive oil, fruity, unfiltered, very flavorful and healthy. Lemon, lemon zest, better if it's organic, so you don't get the wax from the lemon, so I'm gonna zest one lemon. Some shallots for flavor into the dressing. Some peppers, uh, hot, mild, it's your call. These are, I think, serranos. It's summertime, so a variety of colorful grape or cherry tomatoes. Olives, Mediterranean olives. Cerignola from Apulia, Kalamata from Greece. And talking about Greece, I want to do one of my favorite Greek ingredients, feta. Now you say, well, we have feta everywhere, but this is a special feta. It's imported from Greece and it's made with sheep's milk. So it has a lot more flavor than feta made with cow's milk. Margarine, fresh margarine from my garden. And of course, the quintessential basil, the king of herbs. Summertime, it goes well with the pasta salad. So let's go to work and make this pasta salad Mediterranean. Water is boiling, so I'm gonna cook the pasta. You know, when you eat uh, cold food, it needs just a little bit more seasoning. So I salted the water to taste, and I'm gonna drop the pasta, bring it back to a simmer and cook. According to package directions, this pasta is gonna cook in about 10 minutes. Now we do the prep, very simple prep. I'm gonna use a micro plate to zest one lemon. This is organic again, so I don't have to worry about the wax. Try not to get the white stuff, it's called pith. That's a little uh, bitter. This is enough, beautiful. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna choose a small shallot, a relatively small shallot. I don't have to worry about the counter because the shallot and the lemon, they're gonna be mixed together into the salad. Cut the shallot. Beautiful, done. Put this. Tomatoes. Crepi la varizia, one more. Okay, here it is. Next. Olives, cherignola, green olives, and these are not pitted, so I'm gonna have to slice them out of the pit like this. Okay, the, the Kalamata olives are small enough, so I don't need to cut them. I'm just gonna leave them whole. Next, the feta. Roughly cut it, very simple. You can also crumble it. It's gonna kind of break on its own. Oh, gorgeous feta here. Uh, the pepper, I'm gonna choose a medium hot pepper like this. Discard the seeds. And it's really up to you how much you wanna use. If you have any doubts, just taste it. This is like a, this is hot. Woo! So I'm gonna go easy. Now, good thing I tasted it, because if you don't, you're gonna <laughs> set your guests on fire. So I'm gonna go very easy on this. You never know how hot it's gonna be until you taste it, that's the truth. It's very important to choose a high quality tuna. Usually the best tuna comes in jars, in glass jars, 
and it's, you can see the full fillet. It's not like mushed up like cat food. So at this, I don't want to break it too small, too, too small. Like I want to be able to have big chunks. The pasta is ready. So all is left is to mix and make this great salad. The pasta is gonna absorb the dressing better if it's not completely cold. I'm just gonna cool it down, but not make it ice cold. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure it's well drained and not watery. I'm going to put the oil. Seasonings that I prepared. I'm going to taste it and see if it needs a little more salt. Hmm. Pasta is delicious. I'm gonna add a little salt to finish the seasoning. Okay, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. This is the very aromatic marjoram. How much? Well, it's really up to you. It's your taste. Uh, these herbs are just are gonna add aroma. Uh, they're gonna taste delicious, so as much as you like. For the basil, I didn't tell you, but I'll tell you now that you need to chop it. Discard the stems and then you gentle so to keep the nice color. Ecco fatto! Make sure is that it absorbs all the liquid, all the oil and the lemon zest. The salad has rested for a little bit and now all the flavors are well incorporated. I'm going to put it on a large serving platter. Just scatter around this Greek feta cheese. And the olives. The piece de resistance, the delicious Mediterranean tuna is packed in extra virgin olive oil, so I'm gonna use a little bit of that to finish up the flavor. The final touch, maybe a couple of herbs here and there. This is Chef Rosario with the National Pasta Association presenting this refreshing summery Mediterranean pasta salad. Buon appetito and share the pasta.